we gotta talk about something. So you probably saw in the title or on the thumbnail what this is all about. This happened. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Honestly, me and Brianna were like, how do we even start this? Like, start talking about it. <laughs> I can't even speak right now. Like, what am I supposed to do? I'm gonna let Brianna tell most of this story because this is pretty much mostly her story. But I can pretty much start it off by like talking about how things led up to Brianna even being on Twitter at four in the morning in the first place. Yeah. I was on Twitter, of course, like usual. Technically, I was supposed to be editing last night, and I actually didn't get to edit a thing. To start off, of course, we definitely have to say a huge, huge congratulations to SB19 for making it on to Billboard. So proud of them. That is that's huge. That's huge. That's amazing. And, like, they're by a bunch of our, like, groups that we stan in K-pop, too. There's Idol, there's Victon, there's Ace, like... Yeah, and then SB19 being there, God, that's like, that's huge for them and for us, like 18s everywhere, international or Filipino, it's just, that's a huge thing. Mm -hmm. We're so proud of them. Congratulations, guys. I don't know if you're watching this and I mean, I kind of doubt it, but congratulations. <laughs> I was posting about it on Twitter like all night last night and that's why I was not really editing. <laughs> I had my laptop out in front of me the entire time and I was like, I'm gonna get to it. I'm gonna get to it and I just kept going to my phone. It never happened. In the process of being on, then I get a notification because I have the bell clicked for SB19. I saw that it said SB19 posted something and I was like, ooh, what else did they post? Like, what else has happened? So I clicked on it, like, really fast, and then I see it's Justin's picture. And I was like, oh my god, I was like, Brian is gonna freak out when she sees this picture. He looks so cute. And so it was in Tagalog, so I was like, I don't know what it says, but I pressed the translation button and it was pretty accurate. So I saw he said, let's talk. And I was like, this is it. He's about to start talking to people like the way Ken did it. And then the way Josh had done it, it was Justin's turn. So I was like, oh my God, this is it, this is it. Last night we were actually supposed to do like quite a bit of reactions too. Brianna was exhausted and she was willing to, but I just felt really bad. So I was like, you know what? I was like, go ahead and go to sleep early tonight and we'll just do some extras tomorrow and then the next day. So I knew she had like been asleep for a good while. I'm gonna let her take over from here. I was really tired last night. I was like over here playing like the guitar, you know, just like practicing. And then I was like, I should probably take a nap like now. So I did, it was like 7.45 and I just stayed asleep. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty bad. I was, I was pretty tired. I knew she was asleep because I had texted her about the billboard thing and she never responded and I knew she would have. Mm -hmm. so I was like, she probably went to sleep and like stayed asleep. I woke up in the middle of the night and I couldn't go back to sleep. Brianna basically told me that she had woken up, what would you say, like three, four in the morning yeah. kind of? She did sound asleep when I called her so I'm gonna guess that maybe she was like in and out of sleep because she was like still trying to fall back asleep since it was so early in the morning. I called her twice so the first time she didn't answer so I'm gonna guess she had kind of like dozed off and so like I called her the first time she didn't answer and I was like god surely she's not still sleeping that hard I called her again and then she answered she sounded like half asleep and I was like oh my god you have to wake up and she was like why? She was like, it's so early. And I was like, Brianna, you need to go look at Twitter. I was like, you remember how Josh and Ken had talked to people on Twitter? So I was like, it's Justin's turn right now. Like he's re responding to people right now. And she was like, what, really? She sounded like all of a sudden super awake. <laughs> and so like, I think she was still half asleep because technically we could have probably still stayed on the phone for a little bit, but she was like, Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna get on Twitter. I'll text you. And so I was like, okay. People thought it was Brianna, but it was actually me. But that was the only one that I was gonna be posting up. All the other tweets after that, all her. Technically, I posted up the first tweet. Although she was asking me what to say, so I was like, kind of trying to like help her out. But I was struggling too. I'll let you take that over. The first tweet that I had posted was this one right here. The one, the pun. <laughs> <laughs> How it said. Justin, are you a bank loan because you have my interest? <laughs> and I, for some reason, I was feeling so brave to put a winky face. And normally when I do that type of stuff, I put a laughing face. So I make it as a joke, but 
for some reason I didn't put a laughing face. You were half asleep. Yeah, and so I sent it, and then I realized I didn't put a laughing face. And so I go and text Megan, and I say, I didn't put a laughing face after the winky face. And I was stressed out. You could tell there was like instant regret there. Uh, like, I personally feel like you were like, you regret that you even posted it in the first place. I but did, then yeah. there was like the winky face and then the lack of laughing face. Mm -hmm. And oh my God, I was dying laughing when she told me that. So we, we got to tell the story behind that pun. There's yeah. actually a story behind that pun. I don't know how many of you follow us on Instagram. I also posted them on Twitter too, but on Instagram, on our story, like, what a week ago yeah um <laughs> we posted up a pun that was tagged to every single guy on instagram like all of the guys all of them all five of them there was a story behind that and we probably were never planning on telling the story it's not bad we just it was just i don't know kind of random we made a bet for something that day i was like okay here's what happens whoever loses has to send a cheesy pickup line to somebody from SB19. I told her, if you lose, I'm picking who you're sending it to. And if I lose, you pick who I send it to. So naturally, of course, I picked Justin because I've, I've got to like embarrass her, you know? And she, of course, picked Ken, even though I'm OT5. Because she's Ken biased. Because I'm OT5. <laughs> and so that was the plan. She lost the bet. And so originally, those puns, I'm putting them down here, all of those were actually supposed to be that one pun that she sent to Justin yesterday. That was the pun that we chose because we heard it like a little before that and we thought it was like so cringy but funny at the same time. We've been holding on to that pun for a long time. And so she was supposed to post it that night, but she had mentioned how it would be really funny if one day we sent a pun to each guy or if we sent like a cheesy pickup line to each guy. And so I was like, actually, why don't we just do that now? So so I was like, fine. I was like, let's forget the bet. Let's just do it. So <laughs> that was the plan, was to send a, a cheesy pickup line to each of the guys. And so we sent all of the ones that you saw down there. But we still had the interest one. And Brianna, like two yesterday, had been regretting that she didn't send it to Justin. Yeah. Because when we were figuring out ones for the other guys, she was like, I feel like Justin's doesn't quite match. We were saying how they're all kind of cute in a sense. Mm -hmm. The bank loan one just didn't really, it felt like misplaced. Yeah. So we changed it to the socks one because out of all of them, I think that's the one that we were like, oh my gosh, it's so, so cute. <laughs> that's the one we ended up sending to Justin. And then like, I'm going to say like almost every day or every other day, Brianna was like, I wish I would have sent the bank loan one. <laughs> I just felt like that one was so good. And then I was like, there's like, I'm probably not going to send it to him like at all. Ever. Ever. <laughs> So I kind of regretted not putting it. So yesterday was her chance. And I don't think she had thought of it. She was like, what should I say? I don't know what to say. Like, I'm not, I'm not awake right now. And so I was like, oh, do the bank loan. And she was like, what? <laughs> And I was like, yes, you've been regretting it. I was like, you're gonna, you know you're gonna regret it if you don't say it, just send it. And so she was like, ah, oh, fine. She was like, I can always delete it, I guess. So then she ended up like posting it. And then when she was like, I forgot the laughing thing. Oh, I was dead. I was dying of laughter. I was scared. I was like, that's probably gonna be too much. <laughs> like that, uh. <laughs> I was just so, I don't know. She was like, he's never gonna respond. <laughs> she was like, I, I'm just gonna send a lot more so that maybe he won't see that one. <laughs> so after like the, the bank loan tweet, I ended up sending like more tweets. So if like there was a chance he could like notice me or something. He never like responded to any of my tweets. But then later, an hour later, he responded to the bank loan one. <laughs> out of all of them. Out of all of those, the bank loan one. <laughs> the pun I was rolling laughing oh my god like I fell to the ground and then I stand up and I'm like jumping and I'm like laughing so hard oh it was I was a mess at first I tweeted Brianna and I was like Brianna like all in caps I was freaking out and she didn't respond like for the longest time she didn't respond and like at first I was like oh my god she's freaking out right now but then after a while I was like I'm kind of thinking she could have actually passed out. 
Because <laughs> it took her so long to respond. So whenever Justin had actually responded to me, I wasn't on Twitter because I was at this point getting ready for school. Because I didn't want to be on Twitter for like two hours. Just, you know, just on Twitter not getting ready for school. <laughs> and so I was washing my face at that time. And, you know, this is whenever I have soap all over my face. I don't have my glasses on, so that's one thing. And I get a lot of notifications on my phone, and I'm like, what's happening? So while I got the text message from Megan, I have the soap bottle in my hand, and I just drop it, because she's freaking out. And then I'm like, oh no, something happened, so I'm freaking out. And then it falls in the sink, and then I just see it start, like, the soap coming out. And I'm like, no, this is expensive. So I'm over here trying to unlock my phone and then get the soap bottle at the same time. And I'm just, it was the best this morning. Literally. It, it was, oh my God. I looked to see what she was like freaking out about. And I was like, I should probably go look on Twitter. So I did. So whenever I saw that he responded to me, I couldn't exactly like scream out loud because my parents are still asleep and I'm over here getting ready. And so I kind of, I'm, I do like a quiet scream like <laughs> It was so weird and I'm just kind of like freaking out in the bathroom, you know And I'm trying to be quiet like, as quiet as possible at first before I figured out anything I put my phone down washed my face first so I can get this soap off my face And then I go back to my phone and I like read his tweet several times and I'm like, I don't get it <laughs> Because I was thinking more of like my kind of pun, like how it had one subject and then another subject, and then I realized the capital letters, it spelled interest, <laughs> and I was like, oh! And so when I read it again and I understood it, I was like, that's so cute and cheesy! <laughs> I love it! And so then I freaked out even more because I'm like, this this pun is so adorable and Justin <laughs> sent it to me. So, you know, I'm freaking out over two things. One, him responding to me and then the pun that he made. So, yeah. That was brilliant. That was literally like the best response you could have ever it was. seen. I loved it. Out of everything she sent, I'm so glad he responded to that one and I'm glad he responded the way he did because that was pretty Priceless. Like, I instantly got it. Granted, I'm not half asleep like her. Like, and I don't have soap all over my face and no way to see. So, yeah, yeah like, <laughs> I can get how it kind of threw her off. But for me, I instantly got it and I was like freaking out. I'm freaking out at the fact that he just responded to her. But I'm also freaking out at the fact that he responded with a pun and the way the pun was and just like there was a winky face. Yeah, and, I forgot, oh my God. I forgot to mention that. He <laughs> sent a winky face with that also. So it was a good thing he didn't send a winky face with the laughing face. Like it was perfect. Like yeah. it was destiny. The whole thing was just destiny. It really it was because really she would not have been up at that time mm -hmm. had she not gone to sleep as early as she did She wouldn't have had that pun had we not like a week ago planned out this pun before and Just the way it all fell through together yeah, it just Was just together. yeah, it was crazy the accidental not putting the laughing face and putting only the winky face and him replying with <laughs> It was just so many little details <laughs> coming together <laughs> To make this one big like, oh my gosh. <laughs> and so after that, I was like, now I don't feel bad about the laughing face. <laughs> my whole day was just amazing because of that one pun in response. So yeah, that was basically the story. Pretty great story. I think it's a pretty great story. <laughs> I mean, y'all probably didn't expect there to be such a story behind it. Well, thank you, Justin. You made the both of our mornings night for me. Morning for me. <laughs> Well, we hope y'all enjoyed our story. If you did, please give it a huge thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to our channel down below. Click the notification bell because we do post often. And we will see you next time here in k Bye.